Hi guys, Habib here. I will continue my tutorial series about how to make a Unity multiplayer game using Photon Fuse. This sample scene, I'm going to rename it to something like multiplayer game. Reload. Then I'm going to create another scene. I will call it start scene. Let's work on this start scene. I I want to start the game from this start scene. And inside this start scene I will add a unity canvas. And inside it I'm going to add an input field. I will use this input field to capture the nickname of the player. Uh, let me set the canvas like this. And I will add a text here. Enter your nickname it at the center of the screen and some background image okay something like this and a button I need a button. Put a legacy button. Start. Uh, let's play. Okay, I will add a script here inside my my own script folder. I call it game manager. I add an empty game object here, I call it game <coughs> hang on okay <coughs> uh, game manager object and attach this script here and let me edit the game manager script I will need to make it publicly available by making it pub uh, by adding this line public static game manager instance um, instance equal to this and don't destroy on load this I will add another hang on here I need public string variable public string player make name and yep then I will create a script for the nickname input so the script will be used to store to store the nickname value from the input field uh, I will call it main as start in menu start in menu and edit okay hang on a second attach it here and edit it you did engine dot UI 
I will add a public input field ENP INP then a function public void save nickname when I call this function save nickname I'm going to store the value of input dot input field dot text as a nickname inside this game manager script so game manager game manager dot instance dot player nickname equals to input the text <coughs> drop this input field here and for the button I will call the function from this script save nickname the input field I will set the, de the default value of the input field to be like That's it. <coughs> okay. For the let's play button, it's not only to store the nickname value, it will also start the multiplayer scene. So here I will uh, type game. Yeah. In manager dot load in async the script uh, the scene name was multiplayer I think what was the scene name multiplayer game yeah that's correct multiplayer game and don't forget to add you need using uh, Unit engine dot scene management. Okay, that's that's all for the start scene, and let's go back to multiplayer game scene here. Oh yeah, let's double click this player character here we have this script player nickname here right we need to edit this script <coughs> previously we were assigning we were assigning a random player random player nickname to the character to the player but now we are going to use the nickname that is stored on game manager script so here I'm going to comment this line and instead of assigning the random value to the character nickname I will set the network nickname to be game manager dot instance dot what was that player nickname like this and let's go to test uh, to test the game open this start scene and play it
hang on a second script compilation just wait for a moment Oh come on man Let me pause the recording Okay here we go Here I'm going to in to type my nickname Cool player Very cool player And then I click this let's play button Let's play Now we are starting the multiplayer game And here we are Let me check what is my nickname? Go to scene tab and where is the character? There it is. Zoom it. You see that? My nickname now is very cool player. I will try to export it as Windows executable file, executable program. Then let's try to run both of the game from editor and also from the windows executable Yep, it's completed. Hang on. Okay, here we go. We run this fusion test project and we also run the unit editor. And another loading. Alright, guys, this is. Editor Unity Editor Player Just cool player. And here for this executable one, I will type my nickname as CD Guy. Let's play. We are going to join the game with this nickname. Okay, that one is silly guy. Hey. Which one is the silly guy? Oh yeah, that one is silly guy. That one from Unity Edit the unity editor is the silly guy and here there is an error here guys oh, that is correct that one is cool player why did I see silly guy nickname here before this I don't know why The silly guy is from Unity Edit, uh, from the Windows Executable, and here the cool player is from the Unity Editor. Everything is correct, right? Silly guy, and cool player. As you can see, we are we are having multiple WSD input here. Uh, no, no, never mind, never mind. Okay, I think that's all. So that is the way how to 
make user nickname interface so you can so you can choose your nickname and join the game I think there is no problem right cool player you can see the cool player moving and let me place it here now I'm going to move this way you can see me moving in this window and now I'm going to move from this unit editor and you can see the movement on the window executable okay that's all for this video I, I hope to see you soon on my next video bye bye guys thank you